It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solid Tour Mega Tournament where we are still reeling from the loss of Desi and he didn't really get a proper eulogy. I kind of wanted to end things on the um, sort of nonsensical note about his wife and kids. Um, I, I, well, that, in hindsight that was how I wanted to end it. Um, it was hard to lose him. Desi was a, was a fun player, really like nice presence. Um, and I kind of wonder about that last decision. It kind of mirrored a little bit in inverse Dick's, Dick's whole scenario from, from last session. But um, my first, my gut with Desi there was actually that he would have sacrificed himself for everyone else. But then, you know, Desi thought a little more and was like, well, no, I got to play to win. I'm going to do this. And, but if he had thought just a little more, he would have realized that he was going to be dead either way because most of those fake cards will have your wounds increase I think if you don't have bandages which makes a lot of sense because you're bleeding and people can't just use clothes to, to wrap up the blood because otherwise it'd be very very cold and that is miserable so sorry to see Desi go um, hopefully he can spend more time with his family now I didn't know Desi had a family that's that's good information. We should try to remember that. Maybe I'll write it on his card in case Desi ever comes back around in some other thing that's not the real people multi-game solitaire mega tournament because right now he is out. Let's uh, let's go take a look at our at Tater and Dick situation because they very well could be out here soon too. It's not looking good. And by not looking good, I'm mainly referring to Dick's situation. Uh, he is pretty much at the mercy of Tater right now because Tater She's the only one who's going to be able to act. She has all her actions available, three actions. But she's got to be thinking about what's going to be best for her future survival. Um, how do things look? There's plenty of food. Well, not plenty, but there's enough for, for the day. There's no water. Um, she's got to be preparing things, I think. Maybe working on the house. Maybe getting a weapon, if that's possible. It's going to be hard because, again, the there wasn't a lot of... Uh, a lot of the the house got robbed of a lot of their goods last time as well, so she doesn't have a ton to work with, um, and not a lot of like clear shots to any sort of stuff. I think she's gonna go with her earlier inclination and um, try to get some more people to come help her because I don't I don't I think she feels like this is a little too much to hold alone, especially with a wounded Dick who is not prepared to help in any way. So let's let's start with our events here bad news. So I think they are probably dealing with Desi's loss. That's that's appropriate. So their misery goes up even further. Now remember our, our objective for this chapter, chapter one, is taking care of ourselves and their misery must be lower than two. So right now it's two, so they're not meeting their objective right now. So unless they can figure out a way to cheer up, which um, Tater has an innate way to do that things are going to get even worse. Someone's going to get some illness. They're going to succumb. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, get started with Tater's actions. It's really Tater's game. Let's lay Dick down here, just so we remember. Dick is not going to be doing much. All right, Tater's going out to see if there's any anyone to help. There's She doesn't have a lot of other choices. She can't go through the rubble because her, her shovel's gone. She doesn't have a lock pick. She could try to make a lockpick or a shovel, which I guess she could do that, but she still wouldn't get to any materials in time, and she feels like she doesn't really have enough to, to do anything effective. She probably could make a hatchet, though, before nightfall. That's something that she wants to do. But first, she's going to risk her life to see if um, she doesn't get hit by a sniper bullet, uh, and then maybe she can get someone to come help. So anything other than a one, and she's okay. She's okay. So since there's there's two or less characters, she can just search in here till she gets an arrival. That's a traitor. Reality impact. Arrival. Okay, so here we have someone new who's arrived, and they're going to have some special conditions as well as some things they have with them. A gun. A wounded stranger asks for shelter. If they uh, get jibbered, they get some wounds, some hunger, pistol and ammo, and that's pretty good. Okay, so let's see who we get. And then we'll find the corresponding real people card 
Roman is coming. Roman's a deserter from the military. That's going to be pretty interesting. And we'll see which real person I had assigned to Roman. So Sonny is here now, but he is too wounded to do anything at this point in the turn. Um, uh, Tater spent the rest of the turn just making a few things. She made a hatchet and she made a filter. Um, and now she's going to go off to go look for stuff. Sonny is going to be left behind to guard the place with his pistol. It's not really his pistol technically, but he's going to do it. She's going to take the hatchet out. Um, though, yeah, their inventories would be the same. Uh, we got to make sure she doesn't get shot. What would, oh yeah, we roll a red die. Might be better if he had gone out, but two shots. She's got one prowess, so she can re-roll that. Okay, so I think that does nothing in this case. Determine if they are hit. I guess we will. We'll draw a fate thing. Knockout. The target suffers three wounds. Ooh. Okay, so she doesn't actually get wounded because the die roll did not match the color of the die that I was rolling. Um, so Tater as in Tot is going to the garage, and I get there's this thing over here that she can return two exploration cards in order to look around. So here's what it says under that that paragraph. It says roll the black die. So I have to roll to see what she finds. She got a six, which means we have to see page 1875. I'll turn to that and then I will read to you shortly. Which a lot of people have been messaging me that they really like it when I read to them. So something scrawl someone scrawled on the wall nor no more hiding we meet in heaven okay back to the game so let's start exploring now with tater as in touch she's got a hatchet with her reality impact ooh we'll get to read some more draw from our colors deck we're going to find a gray number on Draw a card from the color script, then check the number with that color on the exploration card on this locations card. Okay, sometimes it has you draw a card, sometimes it has you look where you are. Um, seven, oh, exploration? Exploration chart, okay, 236. I'll get back to you with the paragraph, and you'll get some bonus reading done by me. The hole in the wall leads straight down into a grim swamp, and behind which is territory controlled by ruthless killers in uniforms. Lonely tree trunks stick out of the grass, indicating that a forest once used to be here. We see the burnt shell of a tank by the edge of the swamp. In the dark, the vehicle looks like a weird creature, like an animal that's drinking from the dirty water. The tank's cannon is pointed at us, as if to intentionally scare us. But wait, did something just move by the tank's tracks? Is it an animal? No, it's a person. Some mechanic, it seems, is wandering around, tinkering with the machine. Ooh, okay, do we, does Tater move closer, intrigued? We go to page 754. Let's take a look at Tater. What does Tater do here? Tennis row, backstabbers, myself in a previous life. What comes around, goes around, still alive. Fast, industrious, sensitive. So would she stick to her task, or would she check it out? She seems like she's pretty adventurous and outgoing. I think she's going to check it out. Um, she's kind of torn on that one. Okay, 754. People also said they would wanted to see me turn pages more, so we will do that. Almost there. Almost there. We did it. We walk through the thick grass and stop a few meters away from the tank. We see a tall man with a hunting rifle on his shoulder. He's walking around the tank and meticulously comparing something about the tank with the contents of a thick notepad. He climbs up on the turret and tries to pry open the hatch. It looks like he was doing a technical inspection of the machine, but a check that was somehow just a little too late. We'll put the grenade launcher here, and over here will be the machine gun post. We'll win the war with my tank. I made you, little one. I made you. I sent you to war. You're not in great shape now, but I'll fix you, he mumbles to himself, nodding his head. It looks like we found an engineer working for one of the military factories. He's wearing a uniform. It's the same uniform worn by the murderers on the hill. Let's kill him. He's one of the murderers. There'll be one less to worry about. C-1584. Leave him alone. He's a madman. Let's get out of here before he sees us. Hmm. Okay. This is a tough call. 
1584. Tater as in tot. Her pet peeve is backstabbers. I mean, would she really just murder someone in cold blood? I don't think so. I don't think Tater's going to do that. She probably just should have just stuck to things in the first place, but she didn't. She learned a little more about something, but not all the way. Peek through the keyhole, or enter, raise the noise by one, or roll for noise. I think we'll just, when the noise is at one already, I think we'll just roll for noise and go through. Yeah, fast and industrious. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Closed door is not part of the garage. Ooh, you may ignore this card or search the pantry. Return two exploration cards or raise the noise by one and roll for noise. Um, we are gonna just return two exploration cards. Um, she's already got one thing that she wants to take back, the hatchet. She can only carry two more like items with any kind of weight. So we will go ahead and see what we find here in the pantry. Some raw foods, vegetable, and a die roll. All right, let's see what we get. Nine, that's gonna be a weapon part. That's pretty good. She used up her weapon parts on that, that, um, on that ax. Because axes take a lot of weapon parts in order to make an ax. I wonder, is it, I wonder how much, it's one, one more weapon part than a knife. I wonder if you can make a gun in this game, if that would be more or less. Okay, we'll just put this on the bottom for now. I know it's kind of cheating, but I like to do the, ex the scavenging exploration all as one thing. Search the furniture. Okay, so oh, I put the weapon, the food and the vegetable in the wrong spot and the weapon part. So she's already full on stuff, um, on like the stuff she can reasonably carry. So I think she she's not she doesn't need to prolong her exploration too much. She would like to get some better stuff though, so she will search the furniture, um, and she'll find a book, some chems, herbal meds. Those are nice. They're weightless, so she can still carry those. And she also gets nothing. Okay, book, chems, herbal meds. I'm just going to keep this to the side so I remember that she got that, so I don't have to. So I can make things quicker for you. Search the heap again. She'll do the same thing. Just return to and see what she gets. In the heap, she gets um, mechanical part, shell, weapon part. All right, and we'll roll to see if she gets anything else. Nothing. That's handy. A door. She's going to raise the noise by one and just enter but not have to roll. Then she found a hiding place. That's not going to do anything. So she got some stuff. Uh, we're going to come back to dawn, and no, we're going to come back to night raids And after I collect this stuff. It's time for night raids with Sunny. All right, let's see. It's starving people. Hmm. Okay, so what he gets to do is he gets to roll this die here and see... How many starving people he can stop from taking, I guess, not much. I mean, there's not much they could take. Um, oh, we got that. So he could try to re-roll it or see what the fate has in store. I think Sonny is is more inclined to take the sure bet. He's going to roll again. He's got three re-rolls. That's, a, I think, a pretty high prowess. He was an ex-soldier. Okay, so that thing, I, th I this is the first time in the game I've ever had a gun, but I'm pretty sure that means he just kills them all. Um, which is kind of bittersweet victory. Jibber, 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 Yeah, the target dies immediately. Okay, well, goodbye. And Tater returns with all this wonderful loot. Um, I guess she'll return over here, and we'll have to see what the fate is of Dick now. This is this is going to be kind of hard to take if Dick dies. We already lost Desi last episode. She got a lot of stuff, but she didn't get any bandages, which is probably the one thing they really need. So let's take a look. Oh, I never put this away. Whoops. Raise the illness of all ill characters. Heal the wounds of all characters who had bandages. Oh, it was one of the few that, that he wouldn't have died. So maybe Desi made a good call. Uh, if cold tokens minus board ups equals one or more, which it does, 
one person gets sick. So they have to decide who gets sick. We have to remove a small location. We still don't have any small locations. There's no wait icons. So now we have C. If Roman is wounded or ill, raises misery by one. That's not good because we want our misery to be going down right now. I mean, we always do, but we especially do because it's our objective to take care of ourselves. This is our time of healing. Um, her C is if there is at least two cold tokens, raise misery by one. Her misery is now at three. I'm going to have to seek search for that, that token. I'll just turn it sideways to remember to do it. And no effect. Dick got so lucky. That's great for Dick. Um, okay, so I guess that's going to do it. There's going to be some misery happening. There's going to be some building happening, I think, next time on the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament because we have quite a few things. Oh, let's go ahead and take some more things. Let's get some narrative action cards. We can get through the sewers, play it, and you bring additional items from the findings pile to the storage. That's kind of nice. So if, she, if someone's out getting stuff, you can get more stuff than you can normally carry. And this automatically fixes something. Um, I think we'll take this one. We don't have anything broken to fix. And that looks, I mean, they both would be useful, but. All right, that's gonna do it for this edition of the Real People Multi-Game Solitary Mega Tournament. We'll see you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitary Mega Tournament, This War of Mine.